thuggish, unemployed street fighter falls in love with a legless well trainer. You don't get no more French than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's an art house movie I've ever heard. For your ass. <laughs> I can feel the little mustache growing on there. Yeah, yeah, about we, that plot. When you go see this movie, they hand you a baguette. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and the password to get is, is, uh-huh. <laughs> and you don't go out yeah. to take a bathroom break throughout the halfway through the movie. You go for a wee wee. Yeah. Oh, All right, I'll give you that one. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm not. Where's that bag? Eat him with it. Yeah, yeah. What's this guy's name? Matthias Ch- Chonier? Chonierts? Is he Belgian? He is Belgian. Yeah. Yeah, he was He was in that movie that you like so much, Bullhead. Bullhead. I like it so much. Oh, oh, you that movie that, actually you love, me. Leon, by the way? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you love? Bullhead? Yeah. This Bullshit. Is, Bullshead. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, Leon, what are you talking you were, about? Then, Leon, last time I checked, you were balls deep in that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. I remember this. You told me this. I Talk, saw uh, that yes. shit. I love and the spill history. It. Yes. <laughs> but in this movie right here, we 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 have this this guy that I'm just talking about. He he's not only is he an unemployed street fighter, a thug at that, but he. He's he's just a neglectful father, just just an all around asshole. Hey, he's he's one of the worst father. fathers I've seen in yeah. a movie in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. There's neglectful fathers, and there are dumbass pieces of <laughs> shit fathers. And this guy What's, falls more into that category. Yeah. That he's kind of oblivious that he's not a good father. Like he thinks he's a good father, but he's just too stupid to remember to take care of his kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's too stupid to remember that he he's, has a kid. He, I mean, the thing is, like, he's this like weird archetype these days. I'm seeing more and more of of the sensitive brute. You know, where it's like, oh, he means well. He's just a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what? For all those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for, for all you guys out there that say, man, nice guys finish last, girls love assholes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because yeah, this guy this spends, he spends half the movie just fucking the first girl that he runs up on. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is, he's just a big meathead when it comes down yeah. to it. I mean, I, I can't even say he's got a good heart. He's just, he's just all about himself. That's, he's all, that's all he knows. He's all me. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of head, little bit of head yeah. but mostly me. <laughs> but then he runs into Maria, Marion Cotillard. Marion Cotillard, who, who is a whale trainer. He sees her at a club. She's drunk and partying and whatnot. You heard that right. Yeah. Whale trainer. A whale, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She's like, out. Sea World. Yeah, exactly. Like the French version of Sea World where of Sea World where the, even the whales have little berets on them. <laughs> little, berets, yeah. Yeah. Little, little mustaches. mustaches. Yeah. <laughs> oui, oui. Les splash. Les splash. <laughs> but but uh, so he, he sees her one night. She has a boyfriend. He takes her home when she's drunk. They, they the boyfriend kind of chases the guy out. They but he, that's before he makes that eye at her like, hey, when you get rid of this loser, call me. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a funny moment where the boyfriend's trying to be all alpha on him and he just kind of looks at him like I'm sorry, what? And yeah, the boyfriend's like, okay, whatever. Uh, I, I, I say nothing. Yeah, and that's and that's because he's a he's a bouncer at the club, which is the, the, only, the only motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a yeah he's, he he can he can fight. He's a he's a big. It, he's he's he, kind of roided out. He, he, it's almost like his character from Bullhead just con- continued on to do. Oh, something the guy else. he'll whoop some ass. Yeah, so yeah. the only job he can get his his. His uh, sister, who's just taking him in, his broke ass. His his his, his sister's husband says, "You know, I can get you this job at the, as a bouncer at this club." So that's where he meets her, takes her home, makes connection with her. Uh, she goes out to the to work the next day with the Wells. One of the Wells says, "You know what? I'm gonna take your fucking legs off." <laughs> He crashes into the stand, and in, yeah. in the middle of the debris, she loses her legs. Which I don't understand, because they don't show the debris sever her legs. She's just in the water, knocked out, and there's whales swimming around. Next scene, she's got no legs. Well, I'm like, yeah. I think did, did, did the is... cord cut him off? Did yeah. the whale did you not see the, the whale? Yeah. Did you not see the part of the whale had an accident in his hand? Yeah. <laughs> took a laser? Yeah. I, chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually all that important. All we know is she wakes up. One she way has... or the other, she lost her legs, and she's not mad at the whales about it. <laughs> no, she's, she's <laughs> mad at everybody else but the whale. So... She runs into this guy again, and she has this attitude of like, well, yeah, look at me now. Yeah, not the same person. Guess you don't want me now. And he's yeah, like, no, nobody wants to fuck me he, now. But he's saying, hey, but wait a minute. The well didn't take your vagina, did he? He's like, <laughs> he's like thinking, hey, that I've never done a legless chick before. Why Why not? Yeah, and, well, he's like, he'll do anything with a moist hole. So yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he would have fucked one of those whales if not her. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, I think that, like, in some ways, his ignorance is what is appealing to that relationship because everybody else is like, 
pitying her and like kind of scared to be around her. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, this is a thing that's not uncommon for people who become handicapped where they have to deal with people who just don't treat them normal. They baby them. And it's like, stop that. Just treat me like a normal fucking person. Don't be on eggshells. And here's the one guy who's like, he doesn't even notice she doesn't have legs. Maybe. <laughs> He's like, well, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Stop crying. Now, yeah. now I, I, I'll, I'll say this. Before I go pinning a medal on this guy because, hey, you had, you, you know, you did a, a service for this girl with no legs. It's Marion Cotillard. I would fuck her with no well, legs. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. lost her arms, too. I, I would love to fuck her with no legs because she can't run from me. <laughs> That's the only way yeah. you're going to. Yeah. That's, why, exactly. That's why this guy's fucking her. Yeah, she can't scream and run. Well, hey, this is the move the dream come true for me. My point being is for her character in the movie, it does mean something to her. He's the one guy who's not treating her like that. A guy who can still see her as a sexual being instead of just seeing her amputated it, limb. It, just, it does you know. show that, that, wow, French people really see suck on a level that I didn't even know about. Oh, stop it now. (laughs) Come on. They say the same thing about black people. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even think they know black people exist. Exactly. Wow. But the movie is saying like, man, all these guys are around and they all look at me like I'm a freak. And I'm like, wow, well, French people suck then. You just need to come here. Well, I think it's like... I think that's just man in general. Part of it might be like, (laughs) you know, you've known somebody for a while. You always had the hots for them and suddenly they've got like no legs left anymore like that. I mean, it can be a little distressing at first. But also, just in her own mind, she's probably imagining things things being heightened on that level but here's that guy who's never been one of those people coming along who's just like Fuck, i'll put my dick in it i don't care what difference do i have? Yeah. legs yeah. no legs i don't care if you have a head <laughs> i like the way Co- i like the way Co- <laughs> i recall so the beginning he said man i don't remember this movie and i could tell because you ain't said shit i know this, this I whole review i don't remember a goddamn thing about this movie besides what you got i remember i remember the, the whale part but that i think you got some sleep so, yeah you know what well and, we only saw it six months ago yeah we did see it six months ago but but I mean, I fell asleep to this movie. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not going to try to pretend. Well, you know what? You know what? I saw. I, 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 did, actually, I did doze off. To, to that yeah. point, because us all talking about all these parts compressed makes it sound like, well, maybe I would want to see that. But it's got some major pacing problems. Well, yeah. that would be an understatement. I mean, <laughs> that's what I think killed that, me. That's I what think... killed me. I, I, I was, I was trying to force myself to fucking watch this movie. Just like, like I'm, I'm sure that dude forced himself to fuck that no leg chick. But I mean, I was, I was like, okay, well, it's, well something I don't happened. Think please, he had to be forced. Hey, I didn't think he. Yeah, nobody had a gun to his head. Oh, when he did. Exactly. <laughs> see, I didn't see it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you just, oh no wonder you. Yeah, you, you really did miss. We should have told you that. Oh, you didn't miss the part where they held a gun to his head and made him have sex with Maria Cotillard. Oh, I thought, the, I thought the fucking. Well, Marion Cotillo, whatever her name yeah. is. No, you got it. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Yeah, no, I thought, I thought there, Shamu. I thought Shamu Marianne had the gun to his head. Can I? It wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be Inception. It'd be Conception. Oh, 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 oh stop oh, it, man. Saying. Stop it. Somebody oh, just stop you, the You were on a roll, yeah. too. Oh. You know why we can't? You know what? This, like, you let's right. train it. Let's get a whale to get with him. Let me bite your tongue out. Yeah. You know, the thing is, if this wasn't so goddamn like unwieldily long in the way it feels, and it had so much stuff that just could have hit the cutting room floor, like the whole subplot with his the, the main guy's sister and the weird thing that works out with a job that he has i mean stuff you're like why do i fucking care about any of this the only time this film works is when the two main stars are on screen together and i think it does work in those scenes and i think some of the cine- cinematography is gorgeous but jesus christ there's like 15 minute stretches where you're like oh for fuck's sakes get back on topic there's there's so much about this movie to me that feels like it came in a put together your own indie art house film uh, movie kit where it's like, hey, we're going to take all these just completely separate elements and try to stitch them together into something. And I don't feel like it ever really came together in a way that gelled. Hey, by I mean, the way, that kid actually came with a pillow. That so, <laughs> yeah, I, I will give the movie credit for that. Yeah. Uh, I just, you know what? Like everything we keep saying about his character, it was such that I never warmed up to him or wanted him to win. And even, um, you know, Mary Cotillard, I mean, like outside of the scenes where she's frolicking naked or mostly naked on the beach, which were pretty damn exciting. I, I, I enjoyed I'll, that. Yeah, those, those, those are cool. Uh, but even that, I almost felt like she was a little, a little whiny herself. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got no legs. <laughs> but, but I shouldn't have felt that way. I should not have felt that way. And yet, and yet I did. But then it would hop to like, okay, now we're going to get into his street fighting career. And I'm like, Oh, he's doing this now. Oh, wait. He's got a son that he is not taking care of at all and does something really stupid toward the end of this. Well, yeah, can, can I admit to one thing, though? The one thing that I did take from this movie is like I was up for the beginning where you realize this guy has a shithead to his son. But when I passed out, I remember waking up because I heard some noise like, uh, 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 and I see this strange like sex scene with a guy fucking a legless chick in the bed and just woke, just going, wow. 
This guy don't give a fuck. He, he really doesn't. Yeah, and, and it, I went back to bed. <laughs> so, okay. I, I, I don't have any problem with fucking legless chicks. I just want to put that out there. Only co-host has a problem with Yeah, I, I got no problem with it. And, and he handicap. got no legs. You co-host no hates dick. the handicap. You have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> Our hands. Well, I need, I need somebody to hold on to me. That's, that's what I'm all about. <laughs> all right. I need some cuddling. He's, he's right? like, I ain't got no tits either, but yeah. I want those too. Yeah. 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 Subplot with the son you're talking about, like, I actually kind of like was interested in it until it comes to the most telegraphed oh, yeah. of an ending for it. I mean, you're like, you're not really going to do that, are you? <laughs> That's what I thought, too. I'm like, yeah. tell me you're not really doing I woke this. Up, okay, now I woke up again during that scene, and once again, it's another scene where I'm like, why do I give a shit about this guy? Why am I watching a movie about this guy? This guy is such a piece of shit. I, I don't care. I don't know. I think he was a little more interesting than that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, like, he's a jerk, no question, but like, he did, he's one of those guys. He's a complete, he is a complete asshole, and, but he had qualities of him that were, in, that were interesting. He did have like, like a real heart when it came to certain situations that nobody else <laughs> yeah, was a dick. Like, yeah. <laughs> fucking well, like there's little pussy. more than that, because you gotta remember, it didn't just start off as a sexual relationship. They were just friends for like, mu- like a month or two beforehand. Yeah. And then eventually she's like, so are you gonna try and hit this or what? <laughs> I know, that is funny. <laughs> Well, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah you want me sure to. Huh? Fuck yeah, oh, okay. I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah, I, don't care. I don't care. Are y'all done? Yeah. Is it time for Corey's <laughs> review? Because I'm, cause I'm going to be that guy again. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, he I'm not letting y'all get out. This shit, huh? I, I, I was wondering, I was like, why is he sitting over there quiet? Because I, cause I just... I, like, want, I just want y'all to get it all out. I was going to say, did you fall asleep too? Come on, man. No, I did not. I just want I, I, for one, I'm just letting y'all get it all out. I'm just hearing the complaints and just, and part of that is too, just building myself up, getting my guard up. Cause y'all, I, y'all going to, y'all going y'all gonna to come at me, but I, I'm gonna, I think you're going to be surprised. Okay. Well, I did enjoy this movie. It does have problems, but I did enjoy it. And it's because of, the lead character that we're talking about, Ali, whatever the actor's name is. I, I don't Not think that he's as shallow a character as, as well, for me, as we're making him out to be. I, yeah, the guy, the guy is cold. The guy's not the best father. The guy doesn't, on, he he's does, pretty dumb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and, he, and, yeah, and he does not, even, that's what I, that's what I was, that, that's what I found interesting about this character is that <clears throat> he's somebody in his own way who is trying to make some kind of emotional connection with people. He can't do it successfully. I think that's what the story is about. It's about this guy who, for whatever reason, whatever has happened in his life, he is cold. He doesn't, he, he thinks he knows how to relate to his kid. He's trying to, he's trying to be a great provider to this kid. He just, he keeps slipping up with this, with um, Marion Cotillard's character. He's, he's see, you made a good point. Cyrus. He's her friend. In the beginning, he's not yeah. even coming after her for sex. He's actually saying, can I do anything to help you? Well, it's not until she propositions him that it turns into a sexual relationship. And <clears throat> he's getting a benefit for the fact that she's actually a human being who's reaching out to him as a human being. And he doesn't get much of that either. So there's that connection that they both share, that they're having trouble and, making a genuine connection. And that's what's really. great about this movie for me is that this woman who is trying to adjust to life – all these people are trying to be as humanly nice as they can to her, and she is re- rejecting them. And somehow the only way that she's finding her bearings again is with a person who's the most cold character in the movie. <laughs> with somebody who don't give a shit. <laughs> who don't give a shit, really, yeah. <laughs> and they're cut from the same cloth. Yeah, it's, it's like somebody who can't confess to their best friend, but will talk to a perfect and stranger. I just found it a great dynamic in the movie. It kept me interested the whole way through. I will say the problem is that the movie is a little long. And I know I always say that, but I'm not saying that just because I don't like long it. movies. It's just I, there there are a lot of movies I see today where the story, there's a point where I got it. I, in fact, if you trim it a little bit right here, just a little bit, I think you have a better story. And I, I, I think that the, the movie's probably a little too cold sometimes. I mean, there's so many things that happen in here with this guy, her, a lot of other characters around them that there's a moment where you just become so exhausted by the lack of emotion in this. But overall, I, I do think that there's, that there's a, a beautiful story within all that. Uh, and, and I also got to give him credit for making, um, we talked about this all night, but man, legless sex is hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, was, was well, I guess we're the right part? person. Was that the beautiful part? That that's one of the beautiful parts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it it did make me want to go Google it. <laughs> like after, after watching, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna you go like see that? if there's any kind of paraplegic. Did you look up amputee like, porn? Are you kidding? <laughs> there's, there's tons there's of it tons out there. Of it. Yeah. Oh, well, 
Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I know you guys want to get out of here because I, I and we can wrap this up right now because I mean shit, you either gonna see this movie or you're not. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> what what, what, what are we fooling? But I, uh, this is uh, I never saw this guy's this director's last movie. What's this director's name? Uh, you got Wikipedia. I am DB. I want to share the Jacques Audiard. Yeah, he did. He's the guy that did The Prophet. It right. was nominated. Everybody thought it was going to win the Academy Award last year for Best Foreign Film. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. 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 Still, still haven't heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. I know one guy who didn't actually care for a profit that much. I was like, yeah, it's all right. I don't know why it's getting all this kudos. I like this better than a profit. Really? Quite frankly. Well, mm-hmm. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give this a a, a high matinee. Oh. Well, see, yeah. <laughs> now, 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 Corey, you you build up. You had your armor all up. Think you're going to get attacked. And man, I I'm not gonna attack you for dis- you know, disagreeing with me but because I don't give enough of a shit about this movie. See, to get all see, up. <laughs> that that's an attack right there. <laughs> God damn you, uh, hey, hey, Leon! I, I'm leaning towards your, uh, your review right now. Yeah. <laughs> for someone who slept through it, yeah, <laughs> I think I think it would have benefited you if you actually got some sleep while you were in the theater with me. Oh. So yeah, you'd have the same review. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what what more I would add to what I've said already. I do think. Uh, Marion Cotillard gave a, a great performance with what the movie was. And if she won the Oscar, it's almost like, well, there's not a whole lot of competition. So sure. Why is not? Is she nominated uh, for this? Yeah, I believe so. And I, and she, she is great. Yeah. She deserves it. Yeah. A um, I forgot already. We just looked at that list like last night. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't remember. I know. And it's, and you know, I mean, really, she was probably the bright spot to me. Uh, but with this, this main character, I just, you know, he really did remind me too much of his character from Bullhead. And except this one, I felt, you know, the character in Bullhead was tragic where this one was just like, come on, man, read a fucking book. I I, I, I don't want to go on this journey with you because you're not a lovable dumbass. Read a cereal box or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like this guy. You're like this guy. Like, ah, I really don't like guys like you and you're not doing anything you don't, to, you, to charm me. You don't think that she was helping him emotionally connect? Also? Sure, I do. I, I do. I think I think she helped him and he helped her. But you know what? If somebody has to get help, he's not going to be the person I pick for it. I, I I still never I still never rooted for him. I mean, it's it's great that he helped her. I'm glad he could be a device for her. But as far as him, I'm like, I this guy, he's a lost cause. I I, I don't care about him and the decisions he made. But also just how jumbled it was. Like I said, it never it it stayed a stew and never flowed together as one melted one organic thing. And I don't know. I just wouldn't want to watch it again. It'd be hard for me to recommend it to people. But I give it a, a rental. Okay, I'm gonna be mature and say I understand your your rating. I'm not gonna be an asshole like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you are. Does that, does that change you know what? Nobody all, in the entirety of the spill universe believed that. Everybody was just sitting there waiting. <laughs> He's getting more French by the minute. <laughs> I am uh, laughing that you just said spill universe. <laughs> right up there with the Marvel universe. I know, right? spill universe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's the spilly verse. Yeah, there you go. That makes more sense. Yeah. Cyrus, please. Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny, uh, Corey. I think we agree on a lot of the same basic points about this film, about what's good about it. But Leon, you and I agree about all the same basic points of what's bad about it. But who with are you the exception with? that I think that I didn't. I don't think the guy was a lost cause. I was able to, I thought he was an interesting character. I liked following what he was doing to the extent of A, his fighting, which would have been better if we'd seen more of it. Actually, just more of it. Right. Frankly. Uh, even though I thought the way it plays into the end of the film was a little unconvincing. Yep. Um, or, and as well, just his scenes with Marion Cotillard. All the other stuff that either one of them has to do with anybody else, I just was, goes on for too long. The director's too in love with his own cinematography, which is pretty sure, but, you know, like, I just get irritated with these long stretches of like, let's just look at the scenery. No, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Roger Deacons to do. I don't even know who you are. Leave it be. Um, if, if you had just cut like a good half hour from this film, I would have liked it a lot more. Uh, and as well, like I said, just there's more parts needed to be added to it. Yeah. But I, I did like watching the relationship develop between those two. And the more I thought about it, the more I, I thought about how interesting it was the way they both, these two lost souls sort of help each other become more human, more, more complete. So I'm actually going to give it a low matinee. 
It's hard for me to recommend it to people because I think most people I know really just would not flat out like it. But then again, <laughs> I don't know a lot of French people. So just Corey. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I would recommend it to people, especially if you've been having sleep problems. I mean, just <laughs> this in, just, you know, it's a nice ambience going throughout the whole movie. Nice ambience. Ambience. Yeah, you make nice, fun of me. There's some, some French shit going on. And I will keep doing so. And, 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 you know, yeah. So I give it three Z's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Oh boy, you, you and Leon over here, boy. Y'all got keep telling y'all this after, week after week. Y'all got no culture. Man. Got no culture. Is that what it is? That's what it is. That's exactly. What it is. No culture, no legs. Because I got a flu shot. <laughs> He's trying to help y'all every week. Boy.